Hi, this is Debbie, Debbie Skirm. I'm celebrating Spain and I'm with Marianne. Marianne, where are you and who are you? <laughs> I'm Marianne Herrero, the wedding planner at your wedding in Spain, and I'm based in Nerheim. Actually, we're um, having this new office now. <laughs> and obviously, all the walls are very white because we're waiting for the decoration. So, probably for next time. The next time, there'll be color and art maybe and flowers yeah <laughs> reflecting your wonderful personality <laughs> how are you Debbie I'm good thank you and we Perfect. were just talking about um groups and Facebook groups and supplier groups wedding suppliers and somebody put in that uh that phrase I always raise my eyebrows when dot 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 and you were giving some great examples so I always raise my eyebrows when a bride says, give me some examples. When a bride says, uh, my mum is doing the decoration the day of my wedding. I was like, what? <laughs> Don't you think that is the mum of the bride? <laughs> she has to do some other stuff, not, not putting all your stuff like flowers and getting all that stress. That's it, just one example. What about you? I always raise my eyebrows when a bride says, my uncle's going to be my wedding celebrant. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> your uncle? You're trusting your uncle with the heart of your very wedding? Yeah. You know, the, the most <clears throat> stressful part of the day, and you're giving exactly. it to your uncle? He must be a great chap. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally agree with you which, uh, by the... Um, is the, is the most stressful time of the wedding, of the whole day. It's really very stressful for everyone. I always, even if, yeah, exactly. And, and for me, you know, like uh, you have to have everything, even for, for planners, I, I mean, because after that, obviously you have to keep an eye on everything. That's why you're there coordinating and stuff, don't get me wrong, but. Oh no, Marianne, anybody can be a wedding planner. Oh yeah, you? of course, of course. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> As long as you know how to light up a candle, you're a wedding planner. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. It's just like organizing a party. Exactly. It's just crazy. It's, it's a shame that people think like this, don't you think? It's a very, for me, it's a pity because it's, it's just, they don't see the value of being here every morning, trying to coordinate everything. And they don't see what, what there is behind the scenes, really. They just yeah, see what they see right but behind the scenes there are so many things to that need to be done and i always say if we compare it to an orchestra you have the director there if you have done a good planning and that takes months if you have done a good planning then the day of the wedding you can just take your thing and do like let's play this now and let's play this now and it works but you have to have had a good planning beforehand, right? And a lot of practice and a lot of experience and a lot of professional musicians all playing yeah. together the same tune at the same time. There are so many little things that you have to yeah. pay attention on, That's right? That's an analogy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But people, apparently, as you said, apparently everybody can be a celebrant, everybody can be a photographer, everybody can be a wedding planner. I had um, an inquiry from a lovely couple and he's um, a very um, top businessman in his field and he has a personal assistant and his personal assistant organizes his life. Uh, she does it very, very well. And so naturally he turned to her to organize his wedding. And so on her list of people to contact was a celebrant. So she contacted me and we got chatting and then she began to realize um, all the contacts that I have, all the knowledge that I have. And she kept coming back to me. Well, who do I go to for this? And, and do I need permission for fireworks for that? And, and I said to her, you're doing, you're trying to do somebody else's job here. You should be giving this to a wedding planner. A wedding planner is the professional who will organize the event for you. And I said, you can talk to Marianne. You can talk to Marianne for a half an hour She'll give her services absolutely free and she will chat to you about everything. And 
If you want to go with Marianne at the end of the day, fantastic. But if you don't, you've had half an hour of talking to a professional who organizes events, who has organized weddings for years and years, mm -hmm. and who has a professional business dedicated just to weddings. You know, and has she contacted you, Marianne? Uh, let's say that not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Being positive, not yet. Maybe what, she will. What it's a shame. Also, what is it? What is it about people, Marianne? Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame because I always, I always get. If I can give you an, an example, um, from my point of view, it's like if you have a legal problem, you normally go to someone to advise you. You go to a lawyer. You go to someone. Maybe that person in the end is not the one that you're going to go ahead with because you're not your person. But I'm sure that that person, that lawyer, will lead you or tells you, go to this place or you have to talk to that one or you have to do this. Or if I were you, I would do those things is what you get from a consultation with a wedding planner. Mm. So I don't see the point of not just investing, investing that I'm not saying wasting because it, it will never be a waste. Investing 30 minutes of your whole day to just make a phone call. And I'm sure that obviously if they do with me, I'm talking about me right now, but uh, I'm sure that they can get loads of information. I'll give them loads of tips. At the end of the day, I can send them an email saying, from my point of view, that's what I do. From my point of view, you need this and this and this and that. I'll be, I'll be more than happy to help you. But if you don't want to go with me, that's not a problem. I mean, a consultation is a free consultation that doesn't commit, doesn't commit you to anything else apart from having that chat. Yeah, I'm a very, I'm a very chatty one, as you know. <laughs> and I'm sure that I can give them loads of uh, top tips and information. So it's a shame that if they don't see, if they don't see the opportunity. And the thing is, at the beginning, people don't know what questions to ask. So even if they are a very good organiser, for example, a personal assistant is usually somebody who's very good at organising. Mm -hmm. um, this is the first time that they will have been given a wedding. Now, the person they're organising for, they're only going to have one wedding. This is their wedding day. Um, the personal assistant doesn't know what questions to ask. They don't have a starting point. Mm. It, they, you Definitely. know, even if the personal assistant talks to you, and then the personal assistant can say, "Yeah, actually, I think this job is going to be too big for me," or, "Yeah, I think this is something I can do." So, from yeah. now on, do you know what I'm going to do? From now on, Tell every me. couple that comes to me personally, obviously not through another wedding planner, but somebody who comes to me personally, directly, I'm going to say to them, as part of talking to me and as part of booking me as a celebrant, I'm going to suggest that you go and chat to Marianne for half an hour and just go and have a consultation. With Fantastic. How about that? Fantastic idea. I think it's great, really, because um, obviously it's, as a part of your service is it's a great thing as well and because you're helping them. And that's why you're there. You're helping them. And being, a, being someone who helps is so grateful in the end. And I'm sure that nobody will regret having a little chat with some, someone else who knows about what they're planning, about what they, you know, they are. Because normally when we talk about weddings, we talk about love. Well, look at my, look at my theme today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk about love. We talk about... Um, emotions and family friends all those positive adjectives and words right so yeah. just investing 30 minutes to talk to someone and getting a better idea of what you need it, i think it's perfect well, and i'll be more than happy to help any of your couples that's it. fantastic and likewise if you've got any couples that come to you that are not sure what a celebrant is or does and they want to have a chat with me. I, I'm very, very happy to jump on a video call. That's perfect. And just, you know, just chat with them and explain. And even if I'm not the yeah. right person, because the person you choose as your wedding official is, is very, very important. You mustn't mm -hmm. like them. 
yeah. and be able to feel comfortable with them. Um, so even if I'm not ultimately mm. the right person, just like you, I'm happy just to, to talk to them about what it that's is perfect. that a celebrant does. Yeah, that's perfect because the, most of them, they don't really know exactly what they like. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> sorry, and I like, for example, if, because there are some celebrants that are more like religious ones or some others that don't really like doing rituals and stuff. So you need to talk to, a, a, you know, some, someone who can give you, who, who can give you some light on this subject, right? Yeah. So it'll be perfect if you can help our couples. Yeah, it'll be, I mean, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it works both ways, doesn't it? Yeah, it um, does, it does. And as well, because uh, you said before, my uncle is gonna do my celebration, it's gonna be my celebration. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's put it this way. There are some questions that your uncle will have no idea about, right? Some aspects about the, uh, the, um, the blessing itself or the ceremony itself. And even your uncle will need some help. <laughs> Talk to Debbie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, it's, it's, seriously, it's a shame when some, someone doesn't see what a celebrant is. Yeah. Uh, or... Talking to one of my celebrants in Spain team the other day, we have little training sessions and I was talking to her about the, the theater of ceremony and mm -hmm. theatrics. Um, and there's an awful lot um, to um, coordinating. It's a bit like being an actor and things that happen on the theatre. Um, on the stage, you have to be in a particular place at a particular time. And I was um, explaining how when the, the bride or the groom arrives, how you need to make sure that everybody stands up. And you are in control and people will be looking at you to do that. And then knowing when to tell them to sit down. For example. Uh, yeah. Knowing how to move the couple around so that when the, the reader comes up, um, all the time you're looking at the photographer and seeing the pictures that the photographer is trying to take. So that when the couple is saying their vows, for example, you're not holding the microphone here in front of their face. <coughs> the photographer won't get it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, and also, I, it's not my wedding, so I am not the one who's supposed to be in the photographs. So making sure that I'm holding it out of yeah, view of like the it. photographer. Yeah. The kiss, you may kiss the groom, you may kiss the bride. I don't want to be in the middle of that kiss, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> As I'm saying that, I'm walking away. So it's like organising a piece of theatre. Um, it's like being an actor. It's knowing where to stand, what yeah. to do. Um, but those, those, those kind of things, um, you know it because you are a professional. I mean, when uh, that uncle who, has, who loves his niece or his you know, nephew as much as possible, but they don't know exactly how to do it. They don't know what's going to be good or bad or, you know, or, you know they they can forget their script for example and as they don't know because they are not used to the uh, to the ceremonies yeah. yeah they don't know what comes next you know and they can get lost easily and in a in a ceremony which as you know shouldn't be really really long because people lost attention mm -hmm. uh, when it's not a professional it could it could last like forever and then you, they're like, okay, when this is going to happen, you know, and then you, you lost all the attention from people. So that, and it's a shame though. Yeah. So, and a professional knows how to deal with those things. And over my time as, as being a celebrant, things have gone wrong and I've learned from that. So I always carry tissues because people are going to cry and they're, you know, they want to, do it like this, take yeah. away their mascara and mm -hmm. um, I always carry with me a little carton of fruit juice because they can get to the bride the bride mm. doesn't have breakfast she's full of emotion and then she says to you very quietly I don't feel very well I think I'm going to faint no problem I just get my carton of juice have some you know liquid yeah. sugar have yeah it's actually it's actually I'll keep you yeah. going uh, rings the number of time the best man has forgotten the ring. I always wear a second ring, a big <laughs> ring. That's great. <laughs> so I can just take it off and give it to the best man. <laughs> you know, little things like this. Yeah. Everybody thinks about. 
Yeah, so that all kinds of things can happen on your special day. And exactly. the wedding planner has so much experience behind her. And she will be prepared for all these little things, all these questions that will come up throughout your day that you probably have no idea about and you will never know about. But exactly. your wedding planner is solving problems all day. Trust me. They're so, they, we, as you know, we are problem solver. That's what we are. And, and, and people, and, and because we think ahead as well, because we know what can be wrong if we carry on like this or we do like that, you know, and you have to have always a plan B, sometimes even C and D. And, and even I was saying before, I was telling you that if you have done a good planning, sometimes not even having a great planning done is, is, a, is a guarantee of result of what success results, that's what I meant. Um, because, because things happen. I, I want to say things and not other word, but things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, even if, it's, if you think that everything is under control, something that you, and I'm not just thinking of weather, because it's like, everybody thinks, about, oh, it's wrong because of the weather. No, it's not just the weather. There are so many other things. Like, for example, it's the first time that the, these uh, musicians are going to the venue and they get lost. Or, for example, or, um, or somebody who hasn't said that it was allergic to something, you know, and they haven't informed us. So there are so many things that they could be, they could get really wrong in, in a wedding. Yeah. But we are there to solve those problems. And as you said, sometimes the couples don't, don't even know about them. Yeah. They are just, we are playing our role to know, uh, sorry, to, to solve everything and to sort out everything. So they just have to focus on enjoying their day. Yeah. That's all I, they have to do. I think you and I, we're like swans, these nests. Yes. So along the top, it's all quiet and calm <laughs> and beautiful. And underneath, it's like this. It <laughs> is a great description, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the way it is, really. I mean, it looks like very calm. And then you are like inside it, like, oh, my God. And I know that this, this supplier hasn't arrived yet. And why? And this. And, and this, for example, if you were saying as well about the ankle, this ankle, it can, can, be, can be used for everything. I mean, like, my uncle is going to be the musician, my uncle is going to be the photographer, my uncle is going to be the celebrant. And for some point, we talk about um, music, sometimes because they have a great uncle who is a great player, right? a great musician. And, but I'm sure that that person will need some help, like, for example, equipment or anything. If it, that person needs equipment, that equipment has to be set up before everything arrives or, or starts, sorry. So, but for example, they haven't thought about, they just thought, okay, I go the day before and I set up everything, but they haven't thought that is a wedding venue and probably the day before they have, they have another wedding there. So those things you normally, an, a normal couple, let's say a normal couple, and I mean by normal couple, I mean that somebody who hasn't been, hasn't got married before they don't know about those things yeah. they just focus on their wedding yeah and that everything is uh, made for them and and you know and thought for for them and stuff but there are some other couples as well you know and th that's a, a role that professional ones need to to play as well to let them know how important those things and the coordination is you were talking originally about my mum's going to do the decoration. Oh, yeah. Well, the mum wants to do the decoration and then go home and then get dressed and then come back and be the, the mother of the bride or the mother of the groom. Uh, 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 uh. If you put fresh flowers on a wedding bower on a beach hours before the <laughs> ceremony, <laughs> the it. flowers will be like, <laughs> <laughs> those yeah. flowers have to be put up minutes before the ceremony to look their absolute perfect best. Yeah. And that's yeah. not a job for the mother of the bride. Of course it's not, but they don't think about it. They don't think about how flowers are gonna be if we set up two hours before the ceremony. 
on the beach. They don't think about it yeah. because it's not their job. Let's yeah. be honest as well. Yeah. It's not their job. It's not the assistant job either. No. <laughs> we mentioned before. She's just going to say, okay, I contact a florist and I say that the, uh, the um, wedding is at midday, for example, I'm making it up, uh, is a midday, so a florist is going to put everything before midday, that's it. But it, that's not everything. You need to know, you, sometimes you even need to know how many weddings that florist is having that day in, all, in, in order to organize the setup of each one. Good right. point, yeah. Because I don't want them to say, okay, ceremony on the beach. Okay, I go first thing in the morning. No, 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 no. You have to, you know, you have to, you have to commit to me and to my couple that this is going to be perfect. So this is the, and you can come between this and this. So those things is what you coordinate the day of the wedding. Yeah, yeah. And obviously before you super, let, let me put it this way. You supervise that the plan is going to be done the day of the wedding, but the plan has been done before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those things, I know that for couples, uh, sometimes it's, it's difficult to see, of, uh, see all those little things, but that's why we're here for, for those consultations, yeah. those chats, those you know, tips, because we, we want them to have the best day of their lives. And how they? can they contact you? Where can they find you? They can go to my website, for example, <laughs> yourweddinginspain.com. There they can book me for a consultation as well, for a free consultation. And if not, they can follow us on social media. We have our Facebook and Instagram as well. So yourweddinginspain.com and they, it will lead them to everywhere. Okay. Well, I'll we, make sure. we have, we have a, sorry, can I say that we have a little channel on YouTube as well? Just oh, in case absolutely. they want to. Yeah. <laughs> In case they want to have some other tips and see and see me chatting again, then they can go to our channel and it's your wedding in Spain on YouTube. Thanks, Debbie. I'll, I'll see if I can um, link our two channels so that people can easily cross between the two of them. I'll see if I can do that. Oh, I'll definitely perfect. put all the, the information into the comments so that people can easily find the website and the social media link. That's great. And I'm okay. Debbie, Debbie Skirm. If you look for Celebrant Spain on any of the social media channels, you'll find me. And I'm celebrantspain.es for España yes. on my website. So thank you once again. And uh, it was a pleasure, as usual. I enjoy it so much, our little chats like this. Because I think that we give them so much information that they can get quite a very good tips all yeah. the time. Absolutely. Okay. Well, join us in about two weeks for lots more tips and advice. Yep. Lots more wedding chatter. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.